Hi everyone, my name is Fatma and I review all things beauty that includes makeup, skincare, sometimes hair care and very rarely nails. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of every time that I post which is three times a week. Today, this video is going to be on the Clinique Moisture Surge. The Clinique Moisture Surge Intense and how different it is from the original Clinique Moisture Surge and what I feel about it. So, so I'm going to be showing you how I use this product and uh, there's going to be a whole review after, like right after that. So, so stay tuned and keep watching. So let me start off by showing you how I use the, um, the moisturizer. I have misted my face uh, with a facial mist. I usually use either a, a rose water, just plain rose water, or I use, uh, these days I'm actually using the Skin & Co uh, Radiant Dew um, Skin Mist. It's almost finished. And then I use my vitamin C serum because it's the morning. So. I use the Pacifica Beauty C and C Love Vitamin C Serum and I love this. This is my holy grail. <laughs> and my skin is a little bit damp still, so I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. And this is how it looks. Very nice and rich and creamy. I'm just gonna take a scoop of this, like this much. So it would come out to about about this amount of um, product and then I would just apply it on my wet skin not exactly wet but damp I don't want it I mean I don't use it on um, drenching wet skin just like damp skin because it will help absorb the product much faster and much better as well and it just feels really nice like this and it helps like a little bit of dampness helps uh disperse the product evenly as well because you get this nice slip to your skin and don't forget your neck that is how i use this product now let's get into the differences between uh the clinique moisture search intense and the Clinique Moisture Surge. So these, this is the original one and this is the new one. Um, this is not the full size. <clears throat> this is just a deluxe sample that I got in my Sephora order. Whereas this is the regular size, the standard one ounce size. It's completely new and uh, it's supposed to be a gift for my friends. So I'm not unsealing it. I'm not going to show you like that. But yeah, I'm going to show you the insides and everything about it. So first off the consistencies the difference between their consistency is a lot so this is a water gel like finish where it's going to be very lightweight and it's going to sink into your skin very very nicely um whereas this has more like a cream gel finish so you're you can see that it's much thicker it's not moving <laughs> when i'm tilting my uh, jar over here so it's very much thicker it's much richer it's much creamier plus this it comes in a very plasticky jar there's i don't think it's recyclable whereas this packaging is now recyclable so that's a plus and on the clinique website you'll see that they say that the um the original moisture surge is suitable for all skin types however in my opinion it's much suited for people with oilier skin or acne prone skin because this is going to be very much lightweight and it's going to sink into your skin much better because when i used this on my uh dry t-zone i felt like this product was not enough to give me um you know enough moisture to last me all day i felt like i still needed another uh moisturizer a thicker moisturizer I think it's much suitable for people with oily skin or acne prone skin because it's going to sink into the skin very very nicely however this product the intense is uh, formulated for people with dry skin or very dry skin or dry combo skin you know it's not suitable for other people because obviously it's much more heavy weight it's much thicker it has more emollients that's going to make it more creamy and um so that is why it's much more suited for people with dry skin and then there are the ingredient differences it has a better formulation for people with dry skin so it has um centella asiatica which is a soothing ingredient for dryness and redness and irritated skin so this is much more formulated to be um you know for for targeted for dry skin and 
their variants only so these are the main differences between them they both retail for the same amount of price uh, which we'll get to in, in a minute so now that we've discussed the differences let's discuss the product itself so the highlighted ingredients in this product are um, hyaluronic acid activated aloe water and centella asiatica so the first two ingredients are hydrated ingredients that are going to give your skin a hydration and plumpness whereas centella asiatica is actually a good ingredient for calming down irritated skin so it's a soothing agent basically so my experience with this product has been quite nice i use it uh, in my morning routine just like how i showed you right after my vitamin serum um and I feel like it is enough to keep me hydrated and moisturized the entire day. I will obviously wear an SPF over it if I'm going out. Um, but even if I'm staying in, I'm going to use a moisturizer SPF. So anyway, my point is that as a moisturizer itself, it is very much capable of keeping your skin moisturized and hydrated. And it's not going to leave you feel greasy or anything like that. So I felt like it was a very good experience overall. This smells like, like when I just opened the jar, it smelled so much like a cold cream that you can buy from the drugstore. My immediate um, flash of memory was the Pond's cold cream. And this smells just like that. <laughs> I've, I'm pretty sure it would be the the consistency is also very much like that of a cold cream or a thicker richer moisture that you can get from a drugstore so um, I mean this worked nicely but I am questioning whether it is worth the price because I can get similar results from a drugstore product so now let's get into the things that I like about this product this uh, Clinique Moisture Surge Intense so first off, I like that it's not overly greasy, especially when I'm applying it on my uh, damp skin. It's very nice and it absorbs really, really fast as well. I like that it, you know, that, that Clinique has expanded this moisture surge range to target people with dry skin and their derivatives because sometimes dry skin can be very tricky to handle. You know, you have your flakiness, you have your redness, you have your irritated skin. So I like that this has some nice, cooling soothing ingredients some of the good ingredients that i found in it was um a wheat bran extracts olive extract and some um peptides as well as some, uh, as well as more lipids so lipids are actually fats that are get, that are necessary for healthier skin um and so are so are peptides so, so peptides are basically the building blocks of your skin so dry skin tend to usually tend to have lesser of fats and lipids which is why they're dry skin so this has lipids which is going to help deliver that kind of um health to your skin basically so, so i like those ingredients those are very nice ingredients to have okay so i like that the packaging is now recyclable which is a, an amazing thing because you know you're supposed to care for the environment as well i felt like this as a moisturizer on its own was very much sufficient to keep my skin hydrated as well as moisturized i also used it on my oily parts because these days we're getting some cold weather here in houston so um it's not my skin my oilier cheeks are not as oily as i thought it was gonna be so it's fine um, so if you have skin like me, like combination skin like me, like dry skin in the T-zone and oilier cheeks, then um, in the winters, you're gonna, you're, your skin is going to actually really, really like this. So uh, I suggest that you give this a try. Now let's go to the things that I don't like about this product. First of all, I don't like the fact that it smells very much like a Pond's cold cream and I, I don't really like that smell. <laughs> it's not fragrance, it's not an added ingredient, it's not something like that, but it's just its own scent that I don't really like. Which is, I mean, okay, I can overlook it because it's not overpowering. But the second thing I hate about it is the fact that it does not come with an applicator. Now, the Clinique Moisture Surge, the original version, does not come with a with an applicator as well. But I thought that, I mean, I expect them to kind of uh, improve their newer products and have something, some more value to their products because... $21 for one ounce doesn't seem like a lot for some people, but for other people, it's a lot of money to spend on one ounce, and you're not even getting a spatula, an applicator, or something. So that kind of disappoints me because even drugstore products nowadays have applicators coming with them, and it's not, 
I mean, it adds so much more value to the product. Like Sweet Chef Skincare, they have applicators with their jars of uh, moisturizer. So why not a big company, a big brand like Clinique? Why can't higher higher end brands do the same thing? And you know, while they're demanding more money out of us, so I feel like my money is not totally worth this. I mean, the this product is not totally worth my money because I'm not getting as much value. Because first of all, it doesn't come with an applicator. Second, it's like the effects of this moisturizer is something that I get in my drugstore products as as well. So like CeraVe uh, moisturizing lotion or Vaseline moisturizing lotion. All these lotions, they're going to do the same-ish thing. I mean, I know that the ingredients are not completely the same, but it's going to give you the similar kind of effect. Even drugstore products nowadays have like Centella Asiatica in their ingredients. So you can ch definitely check that out. You can definitely get a similar experience at a lower price point. And um, that's just basically my uh, my problem with this product $21 for one ounce and there are different sizes as well and the price obviously goes up accordingly I would not personally recommend this to people who are on a tight budget and cannot afford a one ounce for $21 uh, for those people I would just suggest you know just go ahead and buy uh, a drugstore product that suits you because that's gonna deliver you a similar effect Try, go ahead and try out some products from CeraVe because they have some really nice formulations in some of their um, products. So go ahead and check that out. For people who can't afford this and people with dry skin and problematic skin, I suggest that you give this a try because this this was pretty much enough to um, heal my flaky skin. I was getting a lot of flaky skins. skins. Uh, I was getting a lot of flakiness on my skin. Um, a few weeks ago and I've been using this for around three weeks and it has been very very nice for me I would not repurchase this product because I don't think my money is being valued in this product I feel like I will get more value out of a drugstore product or a different brand uh, that comes with more value to their product now let's go ahead with my rating breakdown so for performance I'm gonna give it a whole point because it performed really nicely it helps with my um, flakiness my irritated skin it worked really nicely for pricing I'm gonna give it a half a point because I don't feel like there's enough value to this product for longevity and convenience, I feel like one ounce will last you one month. This is half an ounce and it has been lasting me um, around three weeks. So I feel like, I mean, I have been using it on and off, but uh, I feel like one ounce can safely last you a whole month. For longevity and convenience, I'm going to give it a 0.75 because uh, it will uh, one ounce of product will last you a whole month so that's a good thing but it's not a convenient product for me because it does not come with an applicator and it's a jar so i don't like scooping a product with my fingers out of a jar i just don't like that it's unhygienic for me um for recommendation and repurchase i'm gonna give it a half a point because i'm not recommending it to everybody just those people who can afford it and i'm not gonna repurchase it either for special features i like that it comes in recyclable packaging and the ingredients that it has so i'm gonna give it a whole point on that so that brings my total felicia score to a 3.75 for this product so let me know in the comments whether you've tried this product or and how you feel about it or whether you want to try this product but you're not sure whether you should so that is it for me today thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me stay tuned for my next video where i'm going to be talking about the pure cosmetics four in one skin perfecting powders or you can stick around and watch one of my older videos